Hi guys, this is Sai Dr. Kavita. So I came positive in April and uh, treated myself as well as my family and then joined back my COVID duties. Just wanted to share experience. So what do you expect on your COVID duties? Initially, uh, last year, it was uh, very stable patients were there, but this year patients are very, very sick. So what you are expected to do and uh, how should you protect yourself when you're on duty? So first of all, who all are posted in COVID duties? So we have uh, like senior consultants and uh, uh, the senior residents, the postgraduate uh, and the interns. Yes, even like today interns and even the medical students are getting posted because the cases are increasing so much. So we have uh, different wards and we have ICU. So depending on that, uh, wherever you're posted, so there are usually like three to four people in one shift uh, so we have a 12 hour shift just may up go like 12 hours tak jitne bhi patients hai like uh, suppose in my ward i have like 70 patients so like you have to uh, look look out for them uh, all throughout like uh, 12 hours so there will be like a senior then uh, one postgraduate resident and one junior resident and there then there will be an intern so it is very interesting like uh, i don't know why they have posted interns with us so what is the job of an intern so usually they are there to uh, do just the paperwork and nothing else because uh, definitely we don't want to expose them as much although um, our government doesn't think that even if they are coming to ward they are interacting with us and we are going inside to meet the patient so either ways they are also getting exposed so i don't understand that concept but yes uh, the interns also are coming to the posting so if you are uh, uh, like uh, supposed to join your duties and your feelings key what to expect in a duty so i'll tell you uh, in a while so like uh, usually the shift starts from 9 am to 9 pm and then 9 pm to 9 am so it will be either 12 hours or 8 hours duty depending on which ward you are posted in so what you are supposed to do if you are an intern so like uh, the summaries discharge summaries and the notes uh, you have to maintain them all the written work nothing else how do you protect yourself do you have to wear ppe no the interns are not supposed to don in the wards they are supposed to sit in the green zone so we have a green zone and a red zone what are these zones so green zone is that area where uh, the patient doesn't come directly so there only the doctors are there or the staff is there so that area is supposedly safe although according to me no area in the hospital at present is safe so that is a green zone you are not supposed to sit in your pps in there so like the interns or the undergrad students can relax that you don't have to don to the pp because trust me you can't breathe like uh, when i was post posted uh, for my first covid duty last year so i was a postgraduate resident then so i was in final year so no you are not supposed to uh, like don in for so many hours but obviously if the patients are sick you have to but the interns are not supposed to so you can relax so what you have to do is uh, like everybody asks what type of mask do we wear head cap or uh, shoe covers gowns or pp what lab coats so okay relax there no need to wear lab coat when you come to the hospital i will advise you come in your scrubs so usually in india it is uh, like not a protocol or it is not that common to wear scrubs in hospital usually like scrubs are usually uh, worn by people only in the ot's but uh, here in your covid duties you don't want to get your clothes infected or uh, you don't want to you know wear those clothes either you come in your casual clothes and change immediately into scrubs uh, so that will be better so that uh, when you leave the ward you can change back into your normal clothes and uh, take those scrubs and wash them uh, to you know uh, stop the infection uh, or uh, just be safe so just after you come in the ward uh, you change into scrubs and uh, you wear your shoe cover 
and uh, whenever you come in the hospital so uh, first thing always come in n95 mask no other mask no surgical mask n95 mask second thing doubling of mask that is your wish uh, whenever we don in pp we uh, wear double mask but uh, it has its pros and cons and uh, you know it is little bit controversial like should we you know double our mask especially if we have uh, you know already uh, wear an n95 so i think you don't need to until unless you are going in the patient zone so you can wear just the n95 mask and uh, if you're a girl please tie your hair uh, like completely not a pony just a bun so that because it is very hassle to wash hair every time you're going especially your duties are daily because i had such hair fall last year because i was washing my hair daily because of the you know sweat and the pp after each and every duty and we knew so less about covid i mean uh, we were so confused so for that uh, yeah uh, just tie your hair in the fur in the bun uh, form and the guys can leave like that but the first thing you do after coming like you're wearing your uh, n95 you're wearing your scrubs and uh, just enter uh, you know the staff's room and ask them for the shoe cover or the head cap wear them ask for a gown above these scrubs because obviously you don't want to you know directly because you'll be touching the files uh, which are infected so you don't want uh, to you know uh, infect your scrubs as well obviously you will wash that but even then so then uh you'll you know stay for there i think for some time and do all the paperwork so usually people allow you to go uh, for the interns uh, whenever the work is done because everybody knows the interns uh, we don't want interns we want the senior people who can actually you know go inside because uh, it is like risking too much too much of uh, young generation so that is what uh, we don't uh, want like nobody wants that but because uh, people are posted and even if uh, the undergrads are posted even for them whenever you come before the duty i will advise you uh, like last year we were getting food uh, like uh, from the tata group uh, they were from taj uh, hotel i think uh, we had uh, some thalis uh, that were coming but this year i think most of us are not having meals so i will advise you have your lunch uh, or uh, have your uh, breakfast anything packed with you have your water bottle but uh, uh, water bottle is available and they are sealed so they are safe so it's okay if you you know want to drink uh, water from there but for lunch i will advise you either arrange it or uh, pack it with you have one meal before because you'll definitely feel hungry there and uh, just do all the paperwork fast and then you can leave and yes definitely if you are uh, wondering uh, especially for the guys that you have to take bath yes you have to and uh, do not uh, you know just hum log ka aadat hota hai ki just andar gaye and then we lie down on bed like i remember in my internship ki nahane ka halat bhi nahi hota tha wapas aane ke baad so that's what you don't have to do it's covid times people so you just have to go back uh change your scrubs and change into your normal clothes and uh, then uh, keep uh, them in the detol water and then uh, uh, wash them after like 2 or 3 hours and then you can like use it so better rahega ki if you have two sets of scrubs so that you can you know change them always have an extra pen with you and uh, uh, what i used to do in the beginning was i used to cover my phone with a Uh, plastic uh, bag sort of thing because I didn't want because जो phone होता है ना like we use it maximum time हम file हमारे पास है पर हमारा phone हाथ में रहता है ठीक है हम जब don करके अंदर जाते हैं but फिर भी जब हम बाहर आते हैं तो phone हाथ में होता है so that is one thing that is the you know biggest source of infection so keep in mind that so if you want to keep uh, in a zip lock uh, the phone works fine otherwise also this year i don't follow that because i have done so many duties and uh, it feels like such a bother now uh, so what i do instead is uh, i use my phone minimum and uh, whenever i use i uh, prefer that use it without gloves when i have my gloves on then i'll do all the work and otherwise when i have to use uh, my phone then i'll take my gloves off 
and then i'll use my phone so specifically for these things you have to take care do not be stressful and uh, keep studying this time shall also pass uh, and uh, all the best uh, if you have any questions so uh, put in the comment uh, section and uh, i'll uh, try to put more videos like this and uh, a day uh, maybe in the hospital or something like that uh, so yeah thank you